Hi everybody, welcome to another tutorial from Sound for More, it's Leo Speaking. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to Popsicle Effect, a new fantastic multi-effects processor or dual band processor. It's really nice, it has a very, very nice a touch control or pad which you can use live really really nice is a uv free so you can use it inside your preferred host like AUM so I'm really really sure you will enjoy okay let's go straight into it okay let's start we are in AUM and we have an audio channel and we have ISM as an um, audio source which is connected to the AUM keyboard and we have a popsicle effect here as insert effect so let's open it up and let's maximize it. As you can see, really nice interface, as always from uh, Kai, really, really nice type of controls and visual. So you see two effects because it is a multi-effect processor or a dual effect um, processor. So the first one is called effect A, which you see up here, and then the second one, effect B, which you see down here, okay? <laughs> At the moment, you can hear the sound, which is going uh, through directly with uh, not so much of uh, a change. But if you want to bypass both effects, click on bypass there and bypass here. You can control the input here, the drive, and also the general, uh, the final output. As you notice up here, you can also have a control for the root, so you can have uh, the effects which are applied one after the other, like in zero mode, which is the default. You can have them to be applied at the same time in parallel, or you can have them applied to different stereo channels, so one to the left channel and the other one to the right channel, which is quite interesting to have uh, different effects to different uh, stereo channel. Okay. <laughs> Now, let's uh, um, undo the bypass for the first uh, effect. You see here, it says a uh, program A low pass filter. So if we click here on the three dots, you have a list of all the different effects that you can apply. Low pass filter, high pass filter, echo, etc., etc. So let's stick to that low pass filter. You can also go up and down the preset of effect with the plus and minus button here, which is quite straightforward when you change the effect which is applied you will see the two dials here changing depending on the parameters which are available for that particular effect so let me show you as i move up you see in this case on morphine filter you have mode here instead of resonance on the formant filter you have vowel and gain instead of cutoff and resonance which makes perfect sense but let's stick to the low pass filter for now so as you can see, you have two dials. The first one is a cutoff. And noti notice also the scale here. It is moving up slowly and then rapidly on the second part here. Okay, up to 100. You have a resonance here. And then here you can decide how much of the input signal to send it to the effect. And then down here you have a mixer. A, which is your dry wet. So down here, you have the effect B. And again, if you undo the bypass, you can enable it, of course. Let's change the timing here. Slower. Maximum mix. More feedback or less feedback. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. You have a button here which says flip effect of X, which sweep the two. So if you click on it, you have the echo as effect A now and the low pass filter as effect B. But let's reset it as it was at the beginning. Let's um, click on bypass. I just work off with only one effect at the moment. On the right hand side here, you have a pad which is really nice and um, it helps you to 
actually it's like you're a dj session control in real time but you can also create automation which then you let running as well so let me show you how it works first of all down here you decide what is changing on the y-axis and also on the x-axis so here for the x-axis at the moment it says b1 which means effect b which is this one parameter one which is this one in this case time and then here on the y-axis says input which will change this input here let's but we don't have the effect b enabled so let's change this to a1 which means it will change the cutoff of course you can use the plus and minus here button to go up and down the list of the parameters that you can assign to the x and y coordinates of the pad so in this case moving on the x-axis it will change in the cutoff moving on the y-axis up and down it will change the overall input so let's try <laughs> You have a, a button here which says pad engage if you click on it uh, it means that if you change now the dial for cutoff and resonance now you will let and the reason for that is because the will the effect will work only when it is engaged here with the pad let me show you <laughs> You also have a padlock function which enable you to set what is the starting position which is really interesting when you wanted to reset uh, the loop to the starting position when it gets to the end of playing that loop okay um, now you can record the loop the way it works in terms of recording the automation for that loop you click on the right and then change and then you stop okay and then you click play as you can see it stopped and if you want it to repeat click on the r and of course you can clear the automation and that will not be repeated anymore so you can see really nice to actually use the touch control the pad here you have up here the selection of uh, default preset you click on browse and you choose one of them okay and then if when you want to exit click on the browse button again of course you can import some of them you can edit where you can select the select this board and delete okay so hopefully that make sense and you can also write uh, the preset that you have changed you have an additional mode here which is called dip and this uh, enables you to actually see these controls here for uh, modulation where you can set to have uh, the alpha rate to whatever you like or being in sync as well as we are running the effect inside the um, um then you can also set the shape for the LFO, so sine, so square, triangle, etc., the amount, and then so and also the en the envelopes as well, um, in, in terms of applying modulation. But how do you set the different sources? Well, click on root here, okay, and just click on the cutoff there, and now you see what happens. Here it says that there is a modulation assigned on the x axis of the uh, touch control and here you have the selection for LFO and also for envelope and this user interface is something that we have seen before uh, from the, uh, Kai in other applications so in this case let's set the LFO to maximum like so and then click done and then let's go out uh, from the routine or uh, se selection you can also see a button here called routines click on it and here you can scroll and it will show you all the different um, uh, destination and sourcing how they are applied with the different percentages which you can also remove clicking on the X uh, um, amount you can see here for example LFO amount okay and the destination A1 parameter A1 okay is set to maximum there and if we scroll down we see again source LFO destination A1 which is that cutoff and that is set to maximum then you can change it of course that if you like you click on X and you reset it or you change it directly from there click on the ratings and again okay to exit then now let's play <laughs> Oh, 
Oops, let's exit the route. Yeah, we are all right. We're already out. Now, the reason that you cannot hear any modulation at all is because the cutoff is already a maximum. And that's something that tricked me at the beginning. As you can see, I was playing and nothing was changing. So set that to zero and try again. <laughs> So remember that if you don't hear any modulation working, that is because you have to check the position on the dial, okay? Because he's adding to the position of the dial. Um, of course, you can change the shape. Remember, you have seven hold at the end here. Okay, let's bring it back to sign. Also, you have the amount. And also, you can change the setting for the envelope if you wish to do so. Okay, you have other things as well that you can do here. For example, you have the selection for uh, uh, CC messages as well. Here you have a very interesting um, um, question, help or interactive help, which is really, really nice. And of course, you have also the X-ray to see what where modulation are actually being applied. So you can see in this case over there, which is really, really handy and click on it to deactivate that. Okay, so I'm going to stop here. So this was just a quick introduction on how to use a, a popsicle effect. As you can see, um, lots of different effects. I will create another video where I'll show you different uh, um, effects that you can apply, but you can see the list is really, really nice from standard filters, to echo delays, tata chorus, flanger, phaser, tremolo, autobahn, vibrato, distortion, fuzz, pitch shifter as well, different type of uh, reverbs as well. Really, really nice. Okay, I hope you enjoy. See you next time. Bye.